What is up, friend? My name is Josh West with Cellar Door Sound, and today I have a really cool video for you. I'm going to show you how to create some really cool delay effects without actually using any delay plugins. But before we get into that, if you're just starting out in audio and you're learning about EQ and compression and saturation, I have created kind of a shortcut into understanding these concepts with my vocal preset bundle. This bundle comes with over 30 presets for EQ, compression, and saturation. And when you go and download these presets, it comes with a free training video that walks you through how to get them onto your computer and also how to manipulate them so that they can work for any vocal. And it really makes you understand and EQ and compression especially in a much deeper way and I feel that this preset bundle kind of moves you into a realm of doing your own EQ because you're starting to see the cuts and the boost that that we're doing with vocals so go grab that at cellardoorsound.co slash free presets or just click in the link in the description all right, so this is a song I mixed uh, a couple years ago. It's really, really, really good. I will link to this group down below. They're super, super solid. Let's just listen to what we have real quick. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Trying to surf a wave, the turf toe. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. Hey, word is bond, pull the sword about the bond core. All right, so super solid song. It kind of has this like old school vibe and some rap in it, and it's it's really awesome. So there's these points in here where we can add some really cool delays. And in GarageBand, it's actually kind of hard to do delay effects, like especially at the beginning right here. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Like it'd be cool to have a delay right there and something kind of distorted and, and mangled. And in all other DAWs, it's really easy to do this, but inside of GarageBand, it's actually kind of difficult unless you kind of have some some key ideas that we're going to work with here so let's go ahead and do that and the coolest thing is we're going to be able to do this effect have this delay here without actually using any delay plugins and no crazy automation or, or anything like that that's gonna be really fun so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to right click our rap vocal track here and we're going to go to new track with duplicate settings all right and then we're going to name this Dell vocal. Dell for delay. I always write Dell. And then I'm going to click my region of my rap vocal here and I'm going to hold down option and then drag it down. Okay? So now I have an exact copy of the vocal and now we just want to solo this vocal and find the specific spot that we want to have that delay on. People messing up the drive. Yeah, I curve those. All right. So I think it is right here curve those yep so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna split this region and you can go up here into the menus but a quick key for that is command t we'll just split that region and then we're gonna just delete everything that was before that because we don't need it and then we're gonna go to the end of this roughly and do another command t and then let's oops let's move Let's get this guy out of the way because I know we're not going to delay this part and see what we have here. Curve those. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a that's a perfect edit. So that's what we want there. And then let's listen to the rest here. Away the turf toe. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. Hey, where does Bond pull the sword? All right, and the next one that I really want because the background vocals are kind of doing this next little delay. So I want to do a really cool delay with this line here because it's 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 a powerful line. All the music cuts out, so why not make it awesome? I'm Merlin with the this right here. So we're gonna make a little cut here, delete what was before, and then just try to get this line. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. Hey. All right, and then I just want to make sure I don't get that breath. Do another command T and delete everything after. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. All right, so we have a little bit of a little kind of hiccup there. So I'm going to zoom in and try to bring this back a little bit. Let's see. Low. A little bit more. And luckily, this is going to be so mangled that it's not going to be that noticeable if there's a little cut there. Merlo. Yeah, that's going to be fine. That's a little bit better. All right, so... Now, let's solo both our vocals here, and I'm going to basically grab this first guy, and I'm just going to click and drag him roughly to kind of the spot that I, I think that he's going to be. So 
what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a quarter note delay. So I'm just going to drag this around until it sounds good. And I actually want to be a little bit past the quarter note just to kind of, I don't know, just be a little more creative instead of every, having everything like strictly to the grid. I personally like stuff to kind of be like a little bit pushing and pulling sometimes. It's kind of fun. People messing up the drive. Yeah, I curve those, curve those. Trying to sur- Actually, we're really close. So I'm just going to move it a little bit more. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those, curve those, trying to... S- it's close, just a little bit more. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those, curve those, trying to... S- cool, so that's going to be kind of kind of fun to play with. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to really mess with this vocal here, completely separately. So we have a delay, we didn't have to do any automation, we literally just cut it, moved it over, and it's it's perfect. And we're not using too much DSP or anything like that. So the first thing that I want to do is mess with the EQ. So I'm kind of wanting a sort of telephony kind of sound for this one, just because this track has a lot of freedom for, for fun effects. So we're going to move our low cut here pretty high, I don't know, somewhere in there. And we're going to move our high cut pretty high as well, something like that. And I'm actually going to boost this area here to kind of exaggerate that effect. And it's going to sound a little harsh at first, but once we mangle it, it'll sound really cool. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those, curve those, trying to surf. Cool, so that already sounds pretty sweet. Pretty sweet telephone E effect. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some distortion. So we're going to go to distortion and distortion 2. And then we're actually going to use uh, one of my presets here that come with the ultimate vocal preset bundle. Uh, there's some really good uh, distorted effects here. And we're going to go with heavy distorted effect. And I'm actually going to change the mix to 100% because we really just want this to be full-on distortion. And let's hear it. People messing up the drive. Yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away. All right. Already sounding kind of cool. All right. And then why don't we add just a little bit of reverb? So let's go to reverb, platinum verb. I mean, I really like this small hall sound. And let's just see how this sounds. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away. All right, it's kind of cool. We might keep our dry up a little bit, maybe turn that reverb down. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to just bring our pre delay up a little bit. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away. It's a little bit too much, but that sounds that sounds like it's in a really cool pocket. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away. All right, cool. So that's sounding kind of cool. On second thought, I'm going to lower this reverb time just a little bit. And then now I actually want to add some automation. So it'd be cool if it went like left to right. So we're going to push A on the keyboard to bring up our automation panel here. And then I'm going to go to my delay vocal on this volume guy. And we're going to go to pan. And right now, it's panned right down the center. So what I want to do is I want to go left to right. So I'm going to add a dot before and after this entire thing so that I don't mess up that other delay vocal and whatever is before that. And then we're going to put a dot right at this line, the end of this line, the beginning of the next one, and the very end of the next one. And then we want to go left to right. So I'm going to move this first dot all the way up as far as I can. All the way up as far as I can. And then we're going to bring this guy down. Down. Looks kind of like a clipped waveform. And let's see how this sounds. People messing up the drive. Yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away f- the turf. T- <laughs> it's kind of cool because it kind of swims back to center for that reverb, which is kind of kind of cool. I actually, actually like that. So now let's listen to it with the track. Get rid of this automation here, and I'm gonna bring the volume down a little bit, and let's just see how it works. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away the turf toe. All right, little volume People down. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away the turf toe. All right, cool. That sounds pretty sweet. So the next guy is already gonna sound. In a, in a really good spot. I know that I'm just going to want to delay him, almost like a slapback delay. So we're going to zoom in pretty heavily here. And we're just going to move him back. I don't know, something like that. And let's just see how this sounds. I'm Merlin with the 
the Merlot. Hey, where does Bond pull this? Cool. That sounds pretty cool. I might move him back just a little bit more, just for fun. Let's see. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. Hey, where does Bond pull this? Awesome. That sounds that sounds pretty cool. So let's hear it all together. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Tryna surf a wave, the turf toe. Yeah. I'm Merlin with the Merlo. Hey, where does Bond pull the sword? Pretty cool. Uh, the only thing that I would do is uh, some volume automation on this next guy. This is why doing it this way, doing these delays this way, is so powerful because now I have full control over those delays. Like I'm not relying on these weird automation passes with plugins and doing all kinds of stuff like that. And so I'm able to to truly manipulate these guys however I want. So we're gonna do a similar thing that we did with the other guy. So we're gonna add a couple dots at the end so that we're not affecting anything before or after. And I'm just gonna bring this guy down. We're at minus four. Let's go to minus six-ish. That way that lead line is more pronounced. And let's listen. People messing up the drive, yeah, I curve those. Curve those. Trying to surf away from the turf toe. Yeah. I'm Merlin with the Merlot. Hey, where does Bond pull the sword about the Bond Corp? Awesome. That's in a really good spot and super easy. <laughs> and we did that entire thing with a completely free program, which is GarageBand, and all GarageBand stock plugins, and we didn't have to do anything crazy. That that took no time. So I definitely invite you to try this on your own vocals. I've done this in rock songs before, where I've distorted it even more and kind of did some cool just vo volume automation at the end of lines and, and did some delays this way. Just because it's fun to mess with, and you're not really relying on that delay plugin, you have a little more control because you're you're cutting these these lines you want like you're you're physically cutting them so you're not going to have a bunch of excess stuff all over the place and it just makes it really fun to manipulate and to and to play with which is which is super 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 fun so definitely go try that and again if you haven't gotten it these these vocal presets are awesome i'll show you a couple eq presets we'll just go to let's actually go to this vocal there's a ton of ton of EQ presets that are just awesome. Like these clean and male pop vocal, we got some female ones. I got some ones if you have a honky vocal, soft acoustic vocal, these are all super, super beneficial. And then also the compressor ones are really where this preset bundle shines. I've got some stuff for rap and a dynamic vocal. And it this, basically this kind of gives you your presets and then the training video comes in and shows you how to make sure that they're working for whatever level your vocal's at. So I show you what to look for, how to slightly change them uh, so that so that they'll work and we've been getting some really good feedback on these things and a lot of people have actually been using them for um, acoustic guitar and violin as well the compression compression settings and the eq settings work really well for acoustic guitar so go grab that at celadorsound.co slash free presets or click the link in the description Thank you so much for watching this video. I love making these. If you have any questions at all, feel free to throw them in the comments and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next week.